own show. Well, as you can see, I love watching Cooking with Tittle, and I'm so glad you love watching too, because we've got a new email address. That's right. It's Tittle in the middle at live, L-I-V-E dot com. So I do hope you will email your Tittle. I've got some great green things going on for this year and some healthy treats. Bon appetit, let's eat each and every Thursday at 7 p.m. and Fridays at 2 p.m. right here on Channel 19. And now, back to the show. Hey. <laughs> in the middle. Want to have some fun? Welcome to the LaDonna Tittle TV radio show. Thank God. <laughs> My sister Danita's macaroni and cheese. It's got another one of your favorite shows. It's all about the pastas. That's right. And one of my favorites was my sister Danita's macaroni and cheese. And you know what else I'm going to make for you? Some macaroni salad. Oh, yes, you've been asking for it. You're cooking with Tittle. Bon appetit. Let's eat. We have boiling water here. Okay. And I'm going to put... Oh, what kind of salt? Regular salt that you grew up on. <laughs> <laughs> well, girl, let me tell you something. I got the best salt. Is that a fact? It's called a uh, Himalayan crystal salt, and this is the salt that you should be eating with. Oh. This is really true good salt from the sea. It hasn't been iodized. Oh, okay. And so, can we trade your salt for my salt? Taste my salt. It's so good. Just take a little bit out. Okay. This is some good salt. You can eat this salt by the spoonful. It got rocks in there like it came from the sea. <laughs> yes, it's true. Okay. Himalayan crystal salt. Taste it. Isn't that a different? Mm -hmm. And it, it has a more of a salty taste to it. Okay, there you so go. So then I won't use as much if I'm going to use your salt. Oh, you think it's too salty for salt? Yes. Because okay. I just put a dab. Oh, uh, well, you got a lot of salt there. Yeah, but I'm going to use salt to sprinkle on the macaroni so that when you eat the macaroni, have you ever noticed you never have to add any salt to my macaroni when you well, eat it? Well, I don't add salt to my food, period. But I'm just saying, if you have to cook with salt, this is a good salt. Okay. Oh, well, I can't. Well, since you're the oldest, we'll do what you want. <laughs> she didn't have to say that. It's a good thing she's my sister. That's my special cup. Kind of red velvet tup cake. Tupperware. Tupperware. <laughs> Tupperware. Okay. We'll then we have <laughs> we have eggs. Okay. We have margarine, not butter. No. Okay. Okay. Cream cheese. Mm. We have two cans of uh, evaporated milk. Okay. We have sharp cheddar cheese, mm -hmm. eight ounces. Eight ounces of mild cheddar cheese okay. and eight ounces of a combination of Jack and uh, Kobe. Oh, okay. All okay. Right. So those are the five cheeses. Yeah, I guess it is five cheeses. Oh, so good. Okay. okay. So we're going to put this, put the macaroni in here. All right. And I put it. about 12 cups of... Uh, Water in here. Twelve cups of water to and four cups, cups of macaroni. Right. Okay. Now a lot of people don't know when macaroni is ready, so we're gonna let them know when it's ready and firm. How long does it take to cook macaroni? 
probably about 10, 15 minutes. It's, it's kind of quick, especially okay. as long as your water is boiled. Oh, okay. okay. And so the salt really helps the water to boil, boil yeah. faster. If you're boiling eggs, it'll work that way too. Now, I, I don't It does? The yeah. salt? I mm -hmm. didn't know that. Yeah. I just thought that. <laughs> you never knew that the salt makes the water boil quicker? Yeah. I just knew mommy put salt in there. Yeah, that's and right. That, and that was it. Because I'm going to massage my cream cheese. Oh, massage the cream cheese. So I just kind of break it off and let it get, you know, in different in the, pieces. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, so it kind of integrates itself. Yeah, so we're doing that. Oh, so this is how you do it. Because I swear, oh, I love your macaroni and cheese because it's like really And while it's cheesy. still kind of warm, you kind of let the cheese melt into it. Yeah, kind of mm. it into it. Oh, okay. And our macaroni cream and cheese, cheese massaged with the cream cheese. Cheese, yes. Okay. And then we have our cheeses, which is our mild cheddar. Right. <laughs> Kobe and Jack, right. and our sharp cheddar, and we have our margarine, and we're going to work with that for right now, okay? And our salt. Yes, this is the best salt. Okay. That salt is so good. But it, this should even taste better. I'm quite sure it was from the Himalayas. Hey. hey. <laughs> okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some margarine. Okay, nice and soft. Okay, and we're gonna just grease our pan. Oh, okay. That now, you know the good thing about this macaroni and cheese? What? Nothing Besides sticks to, you right, <laughs> nothing sticks to the pan. Okay. And even if it gets a little browner around the edges, you'd be surprised, that tastes just as good. It sure does, I love the crust. Okay, so now, we got that all buttered up, okay? okay? So now what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of our, cream, our macaroni. Okay. And we're going to spread it. Spread it in there. This will make about two layers because oh, really? you want to leave something um, on the, um, some room. Okay. Because you got to put your milk and stuff. Oh, right. Okay. Did you show this earlier? Right. Okay, so you pack it in here. Yeah. You know, just kind of layered. Layered. Like a lasagna? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's pretty good. I'm so happy. Okay. My baby sister. So now, since I have on my gloves, why don't you just sprinkle salt for me evenly on there? You put that much salt in yes. there? Yes. Wow. So evenly sprinkle the salt. Right. Our pretty pink Himalayan. Crystal salt. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Mm. Then we're gonna do each cheese. We're gonna take some of the the sharp. Okay. And we're gonna put half of this here on this layer. And we're just gonna sprinkle it like that. Oh. Uh oh. What? I forgot the margarine. Oh. <laughs> no. 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 That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh -oh. See, okay. that's why it's good to have our recipe. No, no. Okay, I'll think about the top layer. Okay. Okay. So we got the, the sharp going here first. Okay. And we're only going to use about half of this here. Okay. When you're making a small pan, you only need, you know, the eight ounce bags of the shredded cheese. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, but you want to cover it, you know, pretty good there. Yes, I okay. love it. I love your macaroni and cheese. Then the next, we're going to take the Colby and Jack. Colby and Jack. Okay. okay. And we're gonna, I like this. Shred it? Yes. Yeah, I like that too. You know, I'm going to do some Wavo eggs uh, breakfast. I'm doing great breakfasts in the morning. Oh, yeah. And I use this over the uh, eggs, yeah. Okay, so now we got this, the Kobe in. And as you're seeing, the cheese is covering all of the macaroni. All right. And then we're going to do our mild cheddar. Okay, that's why I said it's only going to make about two layers because once you put all your cheeses in and oh, stuff. Oh, that looks so good. Well, this is for all of our dairy friends. <laughs> okay. All right, now we're going to take our, 
take our margarine mm -hmm. and put some on the top. And now we're going back to layer again. So we're layering. So we're putting our layer. last layer on. Oh, that's great. Now the butter, the margarine went on top of the cheese this time. On the top layer, you put it under the cheese, okay? So that way it won't have the cheese browning too quick. Oh, yeah. That can okay. happen. Butter will burn. Well, this is margarine. Margarine burns too. Oh, okay. Yes, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> this looks so yummy. Okay, we're spreading. Well, I was a good teacher to my brothers and sisters, and they're all still living. You know, I'm going to do Thank some God. <laughs> The milk and egg back over the cheese. Okay. And we're just gonna pour it over there oh, slowly. That looks yummy. Slowly and you wanna take pour. your time and yes. cover all areas. And I see it sinking in real quickly. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks so yummy. Oh, let me get this out of the way. This is so pretty. I hate to even move it. <laughs> but we gotta eat it. That's true. And we need to eat it cooked. Yes. <laughs> Good idea. So oh. this, why don't we taste it while it's hot? Let's do that. We're going to share off the same plate like yes. we did. Ooh, look at that. I'm glad you said we shared off the same plate because I got a secret to tell you about that. What is it? Well, Mommy used to make me take y'all wherever uh -oh, I Oh, bring it over because it's falling. Oh, Ooh, look at that. look at that. <clears throat> That's so good. Oh, is that juicy, okay. creamy looking? Well, you know, you thought you were eating off the same plate as me, but really, I was feeding you all y'all baby food, mm -hmm. and I would eat y'all food up so I could hurry up and get out of the house, so it's a wonder you all didn't starve. <laughs> Maybe that's why you thought you ate off the same plate. plate. Maybe so. <laughs> okay. It's all coming back to haunt me now. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was okay, though. It was okay when yeah. you grew up to be a great young lady. Thank you. And here, it's hot. It's hot. Ooh, I want the cheesy part. Yes, I want that part, the crusty part. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going, mm-hmm, while she's tasting, I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm -mm. That's Girl, so good, if I must say so myself. That's the way I be cooking all the time. Is that a fact? <laughs> and now let's put us a little plate together. Okay. The ham should be ready about now. That's the best macaroni and cheese ever. My goodness. So we're going to take that? Yeah. Take the ham out? What'd you say? Oh, yes. <laughs> right, we're still. <laughs> oh, is that hot? Oh, is that hot? <clears throat> yeah, it's hot. Okay. Oh, that is so good. But you know, I'm just, oh, and here's my uh, nice asparagus. Oh. That I did, and they're really crunchy and good because they're not cooked all the way. So we're just gonna prepare some right here. Okay. While we're preparing our plate here. Mm hmm Yeah, so that's what happened. That's why you thought you ate off the same plate as me. Mm-hmm. Because uh, I would say one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me. And I would be on my way out the door with you all, of course, because I had to take them wherever I went. We're gonna eat all of that right now. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I'm telling you. Here, you want some ham? Yes. Oh, how are you gonna, how do you serve it? Okay. Oh. All right. Yeah, let's make it pretty. Okay, make it Presentation pretty. Presentation is everything. Oops. All right. Uh-oh, flopped it. I hate That's to okay. flop the juice. But we want some of these uh, good old pineapples. Yummy pineapple. Oh my God, is that delicious. Look at that. Okay. That's a plate for you, madame. No, I don't eat pork. That's for you. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm just going to eat some macaroni and cheese and some 
asparagus. Well, here, let's get you some mac on your plate. Here, I'm not going to eat it. Uh, you know, this is I'm, television. Thank you. No, you, you that's just, enough. That's great. Okay. And you have to have some asparagus. Okay, give me a little asparagus. My sister can be difficult and make your plate pretty. Mac and cheese that's and asparagus good. with no onions. Thank you. Ah, now, she's finally satisfied. And I've got my fork over here. You're going to say grace? Oh, uh, you know what? There's no time. You know what we say? Bon appetit. Let's eat. <laughs> Thank you, God. Amen. <laughs> She's a mess. Join me next time for more Cooking with Tittle and Family Secrets. I love you. Bless the cup. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. This is totally <laughs> But it is good to say blessing. Oh, yes. Mmm. <laughs> Take sure it's bad. The spam, that's what I mean. They're good. They crunch. Mm hmm And they're just in water, boiled, mm -hmm. for about five minutes. Mmm. Sprinkled a little Molly make butter. I feel her with all of these calories. Mmm. 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 For somebody that doesn't eat pork or beef, you sure know how to cook it good. So how you know how it tastes by the way we express it? Y'all, um, look. Mm -hmm. You would definitely let somebody know if it was not good. So I ain't got to worry about you. that. <laughs> That's it, folks. Join me next time for more good African-American delicacies and family recipes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and own my sister. Mm. Now we can say grace. Uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. Hey, Grace. Uh. <laughs> oh, is this yummy, yummy good? I tell you, Danita's macaroni and cheese is worth packaging and selling. And you know what I do? I usually slice it up in bricks, you know, and put it in the freezer. Therefore, when I want some macaroni and cheese, I just go in the freezer, pop it out, and voila, I've got dinner. Just in a hurry, too. <laughs> just in the nick of time. Hey, here's that great macaroni salad that I promised you, made by yours truly. You're cooking with Tittle. Bon appetit. Let's eat. They got simple macaroni salad, and they've got gourmet macaroni salad. Today I'm gonna give you my gourmet version. Bon appetit! Let's eat. Well, as you can see, we are doing our Tittle Gourmet Macaroni Salad, and it's gonna be delicious. I've showed you all my ingredients we have here. We've got sweet pickles, dill pickles, and some cucumbers. We've got our red peppers, our onions. We've got cilantro. We've got our celery. We got our boiled eggs. We're gonna do tuna, peas, and we also got our yellow peppers and our green peppers. And I love these pepper dews, a nice gourmet dish here. And of course, we got our mixes. I got some nice veggie mayonnaise, but you know the best uh, uh, is uh, Miracle Whip. <laughs> they don't even call it mayonnaise, but it's just good, okay? Then I've got some uh, Newman's Thousand uh, Island, and we're gonna put a little gray poupon in there. Now, of course, you know with your macaroni, once it's boiled and ready, we did it just like we did our other pastas. We put our oil in the water to keep the uh, from sticking while it's boiling, and that makes it oh so good. So now that our macaroni is al dente, we're going to shake all of the water off of it. I'm just going to give it a just a kind of like a quick little rinse here. You know, a lot of people rinse their their pasta to get the uh, which should I say to get the starch off of it, but real Italians don't do that. Okay, I'm trying to be, you know. <laughs> so we got our pasta here. 
We're going to let that pasta just drain and cool for a minute. And then we're going to get the rest of our macaroni salad together. Bon appetit. I'm ready to eat. Ooh, one, two, three. Okay, we're going to drain our tuna. We're going to drain our peas. But first, let's get our mixes in, okay? First, we're going to mix in our yellow peppers. We're going to mix in some red peppers. And generally, these things are uh, cut very small. We're going to mix in our green peppers. And, you know, I just can't do miniature cutting too much. We're going to mix in our celery. We're going to mix in our pepper dews. These are very good. Uh, I use pimentos every now and then too. And then we're going to mix in our eggs. Cilantro in there. Cilantro is so good. Don't forget this is Tittle's Gourmet. Gourmet. Gourmet, y'all. Gourmet. Then we're going to take our various pickles, sweet pickles, cucumbers, and we're going to mix that in. And then we're going to put our salmon in. I mean, not salmon, I'm sorry, tuna. We're doing this with a little tuna. Tuna and macaroni salad is just delicious. You don't have to put tuna in there if you don't want to. I think you might need a bigger bowl, huh? <laughs> and then, of course, our drained peas. We're going to put our peas in there. Get this all packed. Then now we're gonna try the impossible here. We're gonna mix it all together. Put some onions in there. Everything is so fresh. So now I'm gonna give it a little bit of more um, tuna. Tuna in there and some more peas. Now this looks like, you know, you could eat this salad just like it is, believe it or not. <laughs> but we're not gonna do that because it's macaroni. Salad, you've asked for it. Get our eggs in there. Get it all crumpled up. And then, of course, before we get our mayonnaise in there, we're gonna just massage all of this in. So everything is kind of like, not real big. Like I said, it's different ways to make macaroni salad. Some people just use, um, peppers and sweet pickles and mayonnaise and mac and that's it. I went to the store the other day and you know what I forgot? The macaroni. <laughs> I got all the ingredients and forgot the macaroni. Like, Tilly, you can't do that. So now here we go with all of the things that's gonna glue it together. And the things are, first I use some dill. This is dill dressing in there. Oh. Then of course, what makes it Mac the Miracle Whip, okay? Because you want it nice and creamy. Then I'm gonna also put some of our veggie. This is egg free. And if you just wanna do this one, this is good. This is egg free. And this is the vegetarian uh, mayonnaise. Then I'm going to mix in a little salad spring there for you. And then a little Thousand Island. This is so good. And then we're gonna top it off with a little dash of mustard. Preferably some good old Grey Poupon. Oh, when they made this, they knew what they was making, I'm telling you. And now we're gonna give it that fold in mixture. And we want our macaroni salad to be nice and creamy because that's what makes it so good. Boy, macaroni, I tell you. Pastas, you know, just so many different things. Kind of hear that creaminess going. Now, of course, my auntie, she does macaroni salad the new school way. She says what you do is you get some already done macaroni. <laughs> macaroni salad in the store. And what you do is you just add more eggs 
and more mayonnaise. As you can see, you want to hear that sound when your mac is, is stirring. That means it's not too dry. And of course, you know Tittle has to do our taste testing here. Did I write this recipe down or what? <laughs> bon Appetit, this is delicious. My, I haven't done this dish in so long and my mom used to do it all the time and I'm so glad I sat in the kitchen and watched her. This is the best macaroni salad I've ever made. The girls are going to love it. Oh, you're going to love it. But you know what? I think <laughs> Maybe just a little bit more Miracle Whip. Ooh. You want it creamy. This is so good. Folks, this is the best. I need an award for this one. Okay, here's the macaroni salad that I promised you. And of course, being that this is a nice pasta dish, the red wine is excellent with this dish. And of course, I'm going to have some more of my brother-in-law's blueberry wine. Thank you, Dave. Ah, uh, when a dish comes out, this is the best. All right, so you know we're going to test it on our, our crew, and the crew can't wait so there. Now, of course, to top this off, after you get your mac, and mac all done and everything in your bowl, you just may want to add some more little salad supreme. Or you may want to just do some crushed pepper. Always good. So I think our dinner is al dente, as in ready, okay? And we're going to give it a taste. Here. All right. And of course, paprika. Sprinkle it with a little red paprika. And here we go. Are we ready to taste? Yes, we are. Right from the spoon itself. This is so good. <laughs> and after you make your macaroni salad, you want to put it in the refrigerator and let it set for about a half an hour. If I got cream on my lip, it's because it's so good. Mm -hmm. And the tuna, you can barely even pick up this tuna in it, but it gives it a nice texture. And the peas are delicious. Well, folks, that's Tittle's Gourmet Macaroni Salad. Oh, and it's delicious. And some people sprinkle cheese over it if you want to. If you want cheese in your macaroni, that's okay, too. So many different things you can add to a macaroni salad. Because it's like fixing any other salad. Just keep adding it on. But don't go too crazy now. You don't want to miss that macaroni salad taste. Mmm. 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 The bomb. Mmm. All right. And you know what we like to say? Getting into some macaroni salad here today. Bon appetit. Let's eat. Mm -hmm.